all right you are welcome again today let's talk about the main value theorem in other words it is called the Lagrange mean value theorem okay now let's go what does it mean or what is it talking about definition you say that this theorem Lagrange theorem it says if a function f of x is continuous on a closed interval x1 and x2 and is differentiable on an open interval x1 and x2 then there exists at least one number x0 in the interval x1 and x2 such that f of x2 minus f of x1 is equal to f prime of x0 multiplied by x2 minus x1. You get it? Here we have two conditions. The first condition, the function is continuous on a closed interval. The second condition is differentiable and if these two conditions are met that means that there exists at least one number x0 in the interval x1 and x2 such that f of x2 minus f of x1 is going to give us f prime of x dot multiplied by x2 minus x1 all right now let's take a look at this question for us to understand what this theory is all about let's consider this question show that the curve 5x squared minus 3x plus 1 satisfies the hypothesis of mean value theory on the interval 1 and the 3 and find all numbers x0 in the interval 1 and 3 that satisfies the theory okay now let's go we have the function f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 1 now you see that this function is a polynomial and since it's a polynomial it is continuous on the interval 1 and 3 and differentiable on the interval 1 and 3 okay now let's go let's find f of x2 here we say that 1 in the interval we have 1 and 3 right we're going to have 1 to be our x1 and then 3 to be our x2 so let's find x2 so x2 that means we're going to pass this value into the function so when we pass it into the function we're going to have f of x2 is equal to f of 3 is equal to 5 open bracket 3 close bracket raised to power 2 minus 3 open bracket 3 close bracket plus 1 when we evaluate this, we're going to see that f of x2 is equal to 37. Alright? Yes, let's also evaluate f of x1. So, f of x1 is equal to f1. f of 1 is equal to 5, open bracket 1, close bracket, raised to power 2, minus 3, open bracket 1, close bracket, plus 1. When we solve this, we're going to see that f of x1 is equal to 3 all right yes here we have found uh the value for x for f of x1 and f of x2 so and then in our in our theory we see that if the two conditions are met that means that what we have to verify is that f of x2 minus f of x1 is equal to f prime of x naught times x 
2 minus x1. All right? Yes. Now, here, uh, f of x2 minus f of x1, what is it going to give us? We solved and we obtained f of x2 to be 37 minus f of x1. Then f of x1 is 3. So 37 minus 3 is equal to 34. All right? Yes. Let's hold it. And then x2 minus x1, what is it going to give us? We have 3 minus 1 equal to what? 2. Okay? Now let's go. Let's uh, find f prime of x0. So we have our function f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 1. Let's differentiate. When we differentiate, we are going to have f prime of x is equal to 10x minus 3. Let's replace x with x0. So we're going to have f prime of x0 is equal to 10x0 minus 3. All right? Yes. Now, our theory states that f of x2 minus f of x1 is equal to f prime of x0 times x2 minus x1. So, we have solved. I will say that f of x2 minus f of x1 is equal to 34. All right? Yes. And then we have that f prime of x dot is equal to 10 x naught minus 3. And then we also see that x2 minus x1 is equal to 2, right? Now let's fix it in here. Okay? So that means we're going to have 34, which is f of x2 minus f of x1 equal to f prime of x naught. We have 10 x naught minus 3 multiplied by 2 which is x2 minus x1, all right? Okay, now, in the right-hand side, let's use these two to multiply. So, 2 times 10x0 is going to give us 20x0. And then, 2 times minus 3 is going to give us minus 6. So, here we have 34 is equal to 20x0 minus 6. Let's take 6 to the other side. That means we're going to have 34 plus 6 is equal to... 20x naught. 34 plus 6 is equal to 40. So 40 is equal to 20x naught. Divide both sides by 20. So we're going to see that x naught is equal to 2. Now here, you can see that in our interval, we have 1 and 3. So we have obtained a number in this interval, 2. And then 2 is in the interval. Since 2 is greater than 1, but less than 3. So, therefore, we can say that the function f of x equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 1 satisfies the hypothesis of mean value theorem. Alright? Yes. Thank you. Let's take more example. Alright? Yes.